How you doing, Tyler? Doing great. Doing great. How are you guys? What uh, what was your um, level of involvement and contact with the Raiders heading up to this? Um, you know, we had we had some contact. Obviously, they were part of the Senior Bowl. Um, I was on the other team. I was on the Detroit team, but um, definitely had some contact during the week there at the Senior Bowl and um, had a one-on-one -on -one interview with them a number of times during that week. I thought, thought um, you know, our connection was very, very good, and I thought they were a team, you know, going into this that I thought was potentially very, very interested, and, um, you know, so it happened. Obviously, your senior year didn't go the way you wanted, but how, how did that experience help? How do you think it's going to help prepare you for what you're going to face in the NFL? Experience as far as my senior year or? or yeah, your and, senior year, just in terms of what you went through. You know, it was tough. It was, it was a difficult situation. You know, obviously, we were we were number five in the country, um, a top five team my junior season after a great year, went to the Cotton Bowl, and, and you kind of go through a number of things. Um, that test your test your character, test you know, test a lot about you as a football player, and um, you know I, I really love this game, and um, you know I think that that uh, you know I'm gonna be a better player because of it. You learn a lot during uh, during during those kind of years. Did you did you have any regrets about uh, coming back for your senior season with the way things worked out? Well, you know, obviously, you, you I think I think you you. Um, you know, after things pan out, you, you kind of look back and go, you know, that, that wasn't wasn't necessarily, you know, business wise, this maybe a smarter thing. But but I've always the way I approach it. I know that's the way probably everybody else looks at it and questions my judgment. But my thought is, I wanted to be the most ready, prepared football player I could be, and I thought the only way I could do that um, in order to enter, enter the NFL would be to go back to my go back to school for my senior season. And, um, you know, I think regardless of what happened and, you know, maybe where you go in the draft, um, I think I'm a more prepared football player by staying in school. So in that regard, I'm, I'm extremely happy that, that um, you know, I got that opportunity and still have an opportunity to play in the NFL. Did you uh, think you were going to go earlier in the draft? Are you upset you went in the fourth round? Or what's your reaction uh, the last couple of days? What's going on? Well, I think, you know, it's being such a different year in the draft, I, I did expect to go, go a little bit earlier, but I'm so, so excited. I think the situation, you know, going into it, everybody said the situation is what is most important. It's not necessarily what round or what slot or, or um, you know, that, but it's the situation. And I think the situation in Oakland is, is perfect. Um, you know, my dad's from from California area, he's from you know, Southern California, but um, definitely a lot of family out there. Um, you know, you look at the organization, there's a lot of tradition in Oakland with three Super Bowls. Um, there's a lot going on in the right direction. Um, and and I'm, I'm excited that I get to come in and compete, you know, and potentially, um, you know, have a chance at, of, of playing on Sunday and, um, you know, lead the football team. So... That's what I'm excited to do is, is get there as quick as I possibly can and start getting in the playbook. That's just going to mention that they have, you know, since they have two quarterbacks that have like a combined total of three starts, a new offense, so everybody's kind of starting off the same page almost. Do you do you look at this as a chance to come in and start as a rookie? Well, I think I think any competitor would would um, you know agree they they want to play, they want to start, they want to come in and, and work. But, um, you know, as coaches have talked to me on the phone, they say, you, we want you to come in and compete your tail off. And, and um, you know, that's that's my approach. And, you know, wherever that leads me, um, you know, we'll see at the end of the day. But, um, you know, obviously we've got three three pretty good guys in there. And, and um, you know, I'm going to come in and compete like crazy. Tyler, have you had a, issues with concussions? Was it just the one last year or have you had a couple? And is that something uh, that, that concerns you? Are, you? are you cleared of all that or – you know, I had the one last year, um, visited Dr. Collins in Pittsburgh, who's kind of the foremost expert on concussions, and um, very much cleared in his regard and, and got his check mark of approval. So so I feel very confident. I played the, the remainder eight games at Arkansas, um, you know, with no, no problems there, So and took some pretty good licks. So I feel, feel, feel very good in that regard. There's been a lot of – Talked about you about how you how, how you are willing to take a hit. Is that something you try not to do? So do you think you have to get the ball, rid of the ball quicker, or is that uh, what 
kind of an issue is that? Well, I think I think one it goes back to play, playing in a, in a tough conference, um, you know, and, and we we had to throw the ball in order to be successful, um, you know, during during the two seasons that I was where, there, we, we kind of struggled running the football, and so there were a lot of teams that that uh, were pinning their ears back and, and trying to trying to pressure us a lot, and um, you know, unfortunately, you, you had it was just kind of in that type of a situation where a lot of times you had to sit in there and, and rip it because of because of the situation we were in at Arkansas. Um, and you, you know, as a quarterback, you're going to have to take some shots and compete for to give us us, us a chance to win. And um, you know, and I knew that, and, and, and you know, fortunately and, and unfortunately, uh, I was able to take a hit. But um, you know, I think that, that that's uh, part of my game a little bit. Looking forward to playing with Darren McFadden. No question. You know, I grew up here in Arkansas. I was an Arkansas fan and watched him, you know, do what he did for the school and for the university. And um, obviously, uh, he's done done pretty well out there. So um, anxious to get back there with him and, and build a relationship and, and uh, see if we can't work together. How much influence do Coach Petrino have in terms of your development as a as a quarterback? Well, you know, he's a tremendous quarterback coach. Um, you know, it's at the quarterback university um, at whatever school he's at. Uh, you know, it's every, the practice is tailored around the quarterback position. Um, so, uh, I think I think any quarterback that plays for him has has a has an advantage. Um, you know, on a lot of other quarterbacks from schools because of the knowledge that, that he expects you to know and, and the, the amount of pressure and substance that he puts on the quarterback's shoulders. And, um, you know, I think some years that's really, really good. Some years it's a little tougher. But, um, you know, I think, I think I'm, I'm ahead of the curve in a lot of ways as far as a, a freshman coming in. Um, or as, I'm sorry, as a rookie coming in because of, uh, because of what, what Coach Petrino uh, kind of instilled there at the quarterback position. So, um, you know, I'm excited to get in there and learn and, and figure out what we're doing offensively. And uh, I, think, I think we'll be ready to go. Who did you talk to when the Raiders called? Uh, I talked to Coach Allen. Uh, Coach Allen was one of the first people I talked to, uh, as well as Coach uh, DeFilippo and, and Coach Olson. Um, you know, those were those were the first first few guys I talked to. Good. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you. <laughs>